Congressman, it's Pete Hegseth, but this president sure. gave Europe an opportunity to fill some of the holes and fixes in the deal, which, do, which doesn't provide, I mean, you may think it does, but it doesn't provide oversight. It sunsets in 10 years. We gave them billions of dollars. They use it to fund terrorism. Uh, why do you trust that the Iranians won't, after 10 years, even if everything you're saying is true, will actually give up their nuclear ambitions? Don't we be, have to be harder on them and have more uh, uh, visibility on enforcement and how in the world does the existing deal do that? Well, if you get into the details of the uh, agreement, the nuclear agreement, uh, there, is, there are several stages along the way. There is a 10-year, but there's also a 20-year. And then uh, Iran has signed on to the Non-Nuclear Proliferation Treaty, which is forevermore into the future. In other words, they have committed to not engage in nuclear weapons activities so into the them? future. But of course we don't trust them. That's why we have these verification programs in place, which are very, very intrusive. And uh, there are many mechanisms to determine if, in fact, they begin 10 years, 15, 20 years out into the future to uh, restart their nuclear program. All of those remain in place. But there really is a very major concern, correctly stated by the president, as well as by uh, President Macron and others, that the other activities that Iran is engaged in, particularly what we're seeing in Syria right now, they are one of the major supporters of the Syrian uh, of Assad government in Syria. And they have uh, perhaps thousands of uh, troops in Syria supporting the uh, Syrian government. Uh, and also uh, working with Hezbollah, threatening Israel, and certainly uh, having a major impact on Lebanon. So all those things are, are concerns. They need to be dealt with. France. Uh, well, how are they the, going to be dealt with? How are they going to be dealt with if the president renews it and well, doesn't pull out? I mean, you're saying two things. You no. said it's working. You said the Iran deal's working. And then you said that all of this stuff that they're doing, dealing no. with well, Syria, no. supporting Hezbollah, threatening Israel. So it's not working. No, Maria, that is not correct. The deal did not deal with those, uh, those issues that you just state, stated. It dealt with the nuclear thing. It did not deal with the other issues. I see. And therein, some, many people believe that the deal was not whole. It didn't cover everything. And, and that's absolutely correct. It did not cover everything. It dealt with what was and remains today the most important. And that is that, and President Macron said this very clearly, Iran will never have a nuclear weapon. That's what the deal dealt with. It did not deal with the other uh, activities, okay. malicious okay. and bad as they are. We okay. should be dealing with those. And if we work together and we don't dump the nuclear deal, which would create an enormous division within the uh, coalition that actually brought about the nuclear deal, if we don't dump that, then we mm -hmm. will have a strong coalition to deal with uh, these other issues. Right. That okay, are then, extremely I'm Congressman I'm James Freeman here with the Journal. I'm wondering, sure. therefore, if you then support bringing back the sanctions that were relieved by the deal as punishment for everything you just described in terms of funding terrorism. Well, there are other sanctions that are still in place. Additional sanctions may be necessary, uh, and they are always available to us going into the future. Uh, that's quite uh, quite possible. Does that, that but we you're not supporting them now? Uh, we need to work together with other countries. Right now, all of the focus is on the president threatening to dump the nuclear deal, which would set all of this thing back and not allow us to move forward on anything. Uh, so that's I the know, but you just problem. detailed all of their offenses in the region. Yes. Doesn't that just justify said, bringing sanctions? Uh, it could, and we need to be working with our uh, our allies on this issue. Some of those sanctions are a direct problem to our allies uh, and that uh, and to the United States. For example, uh, there's a major deal that has been cut. Uh, or Iran wants to purchase uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of uh, new uh, airliners. Now, that's a big deal for uh, the Airbus and quite possibly for Boeing. And so as you look at those sanctions, uh, you want to be careful to only use sanctions that are detrimental to Iran, not detrimental to uh, the interest of the coalition partners. So what I'm saying is that the sanctions are there, they can be used, but just to go back and to put all of those back in place may create additional problems and not achieve the goal. So look at this thing carefully, use sanctions that are very targeted, that do put the appropriate pressure on Iran so that they will uh, back away from many of the things. But let me also put one more issue on the table, 
and that is when the president said three weeks ago that uh, we had completed the work on ISIS, he wanted to pull out the troops out of Syria, and that he wanted to leave Syria to others. Well, it turns out that the others are Russia, Iran, Turkey, uh, and uh, the uh, Gulf states. Uh, that creates an uh, enormous vacuum of power that will be uh, filled by Iran. And that's not where we want to go. So you have to look at this thing in its total complexity. Right. Uh, and if we do, I think we can make progress. Uh, keep the nuclear deal in place. It is working, and it will work for many years into the future. And secondly, make sure that we do pr apply the appropriate pressure. Keep in mind Syria in this entire uh, equation. Yeah. Mm. Dig Dagan, did you want to say something? No, I just want you, uh, Congressman, you said look at yeah. the, the, the complete deal and all, that it, all that's going on in its entirety. The problem that a lot of Americans have with that uh, nuclear deal with Iran in the first place is we handed $1.7 billion in pallets of cash to Iran. Where's that money going as a state sponsor of terrorism? It's going to fund terrorist attacks. It's going to fund Hezbollah. So you can't really separate those two. We gave them the money before there was any evidence that they were really pulling back on the nuclear program. We actually, we flew it to Iran in the secret of night, and the only reason we even know about it is because of the reporting of the Wall Street Journal. Well, that coffee has been spilled. That coffee is no longer in the cup. So what do we do going forward? The nuclear deal is in place, and it is working. That's a good thing. That's a very, but, very important thing. Now, now you let's keep just, saying it's working, Congressman, but all of is. these things that are that are not working are so obvious. And then a moment ago, you said we have to be careful because Iran's going to buy all these jets, possibly from Boeing and and from from others, and and we have to be careful about that. What's our goal? Is our goal well, to stop the nuclear capability or get business for Boeing and the air and the jet makers? Well, you're quite correct. Our goal was to stop the nuclear capability, and that is happening. That How is, is it happening place. if they're supporting well, Syria, they're supporting Hezbollah, they're threatening Israel, and they're using the $1.7 billion that we sent over there to well, do just calm, that? Calm down for a second and, take, and carefully take a listen to what you just said. The nuclear deal, that was what we dealt with. The JCPOA was about Iran building a nuclear weapon, and at that they're time, when that missiles, was in place... They're still building missiles, They're no, still wait, testing wait. and building missiles. I mean, delivery well, systems for hang, nuclear Hang on a second. Which is, I want you to be very, most. very careful about what we're talking about here. Iran was on the cusp of actually building a nuclear weapon. They could have built one within one year, maybe less than one year. That's no longer the case. They do not now have the materials or the systems to build a nuclear weapon. Right. That's what the JCPOA mm. was no. about. These other issues were not part of that deal. Yeah, well, <laughs> that, was, that was not smart. That was not smart. Important, well, maybe so, yeah. but I want you to understand Iran does not have a nuclear weapon. If they did have a nuclear right. weapon and all these other things were going yes. on, that's, where would we be? That's the bottom line. Congressman, it's good to see you, sir. Thank you.